Greek medicine. What are the four humors? Greek medicine is famous for its theory of the four humors, which are four vital fluids that are essential to the proper functioning of the body. When the four humors are harmonious and balanced, says Greek medicine, there is health. When they are deranged or unbalanced, there is disease. But what exactly are the four humors, and what are their physiological functions in the body? Many people in today's world have romantic, fanciful, or far-fetched notions about what the four humors are. I would like to dispel these myths and explain exactly what the four humors are, how they function in the human body, and the clinical entities that they correspond to in modern medicine. The ancient Greeks believed that everything in the universe, including the human body and its various constituent parts, was made from the four elements. Fire, air, earth, and water, in varying proportions. The human body, through the process of pepsis, or digestion and metabolism, converts the elements present in the food and drink we consume into the elements that compose the organs and tissues of the body. The intermediaries in this process of pepsis are the four humors. You could call them the metabolic agents of the four elements in the human body. The four humors are products of the natural faculty, centered in the liver, which governs digestion and metabolism, nutrition and growth, and the liver, the master chemist of the bloodstream, is the principal organ that generates and regulates the four humors in the body. Greek medicine sees pepsis, or digestion and metabolism, as occurring throughout the body, all the way down to the cellular level. Pepsis, or digestion, occurs in four stages. The first digestion occurs in the GI tract and produces chyle, a creamy food essence whose nutrients are absorbed from the intestines and sent to the liver via the veins of the hepatic portal system for processing into the four humors. The waste products of the first digestion are excreted as the stool or feces. The second digestion occurs in the liver and gives rise to the four humors, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, in that order. Blood is the first humor to arise, and is formed from the richest, choicest nutrients from food and drink. Phlegm is the second humor to arise, and is formed from the next richest nutrients from food and drink. Yellow bile is the third humor to arise, and is formed from relatively coarse, meager nutrients from food and drink. Black bile is the fourth humor to arise, and is formed from the coarsest, most meager share of nutrients from food and drink. It is also considered to be a sediment of blood, or the sanguine humor. The four humors, and the elements they serve, are as follows. Blood, or the sanguine humor, serves the air element and is hot and wet. Phlegm, or the phlegmatic humor, serves the water element and is cold and wet. Yellow bile, or the choleric humor, serves the fire element and is hot and dry. Black bile, or the melancholic humor, serves the earth element and is cold and dry. The first two humors to arise blood and phlegm are the moist, flourishing humors and are responsible for the bulk of nutrition in the human body. The last two humors to arise, yellow bile and black bile, are the dry, effete humors and are only needed by the body in small amounts as digestive and metabolic catalysts. The waste products from the second digestion are excreted by the kidneys via the urine and by the skin as sweat. This is also true for the third and fourth digestions as well. In the third digestion, the four humors go to nourish and energize the four principal organs, the liver, the heart, the brain, and the gonads. In the fourth digestion, the four humors, in varying proportions, are converted and assimilated into living tissue via a kind of gelling process. All four humors are present in the bloodstream. 
Blood, or the sanguine humor, is red, and is the red hemoglobin-rich portion of the blood. Phlegm, or the phlegmatic humor, is clear, or white, and is present as blood serum or plasma. Yellow bile, or the choleric humor, is yellow, and is present as bilious residues, or bilirubin. Black bile, or the melancholic humor, is brown, and is present as fibrin and clotting factors responsible for the structural maintenance and repair of living tissue. A healthy balance of all four humors can be seen in the healthy skin color or complexion. The two principal colors are red and white, for blood and phlegm, the two moist, flourishing humors, with tints of yellow, for yellow bile, and brown, for black bile. Imbalances of the four humors are most easily detected as discolorations of the complexion. This is David Osborne. I hope you have enjoyed this video about the four humors. For more information on this and other subjects pertaining to Greek medicine, please visit my website www.greekmedicine.net.